I'm Erin Ryder, news editor of The Horse, your guide to equine health care. We're here at Root and Riddle Equine Hospital in Lexington, Kentucky, where we're joined today by Dr. Pete Sheeran. Dr. Sheeran's going to demonstrate the culturing and diagnostic process, as well as the treatment for contagious equine metritis in the stallion. Dr. Sheeran, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. So once we get the horse teased up, we can grab his penis, and then the sites that we'll do, we'll do the prepuce. So what we want is the prepucial fold here, and you just get an aggressive swab, and you can see when you get a good sample, and then again into the Ames media. The next site are all in the, the distal penis. So the tip of the urethra, the urethral fossa and the diverticulum and then finally the urethral sinus And these samples we put in the Amy's media, and um, once they've been collected, if they can't get to the lab quickly, they need to be stored either on ice or in a refrigerator. Uh, ideally, we'd like to get them to the lab within two to four hours. If you're going to ship them overnight, they need to be shipped on ice or with uh, cold packs. And we've been told that the diagnostic lab has been informed by the USDA that if the ice packs are warm when the samples are received, they're not to set up the samples, so they won't culture those samples. So you need to make sure that you send sufficient amounts of ice packs to keep those samples cold when they're being shipped. So these samples will be taken just one time, and then um, in the, the stallions that we're, we're investigating further will be bred to two test mares, and then those mares will be cultured for the, the CEM organism to see if it's present. In treating the stallions, we re we're required to clean the, the penis, and what we'll use is a chlorhexidine scrub, and then following the cleaning, we'll pack them. The horses can be treated following the breeding of the second test mare. And so with the chlorhexidine scrub, again, ideally you want the horse to have a very good erection so that we can clean the entire penis. You need to do a good job up in the prepuce region where there's a lot of schmegma, and then again, in the urethral fossa and sinus, you can see we've got a little bit of a bean here that lives in the urethral diverticulum. If the horse loses the erection like this, what we'll need to do is tease him up okay. again. So we've teased him back up. He's got an erection again. And again, it allows us to do a better job of cleaning the penis when it's erect into the urethral fossa. You see again in the diverticulum, we have this schmegma here and we'd like to get that out so that when we do coat the penis with a nitrofurosone, which is what we're going to do next, we can coat the entire penis and pack in the fossa, in the diverticulum. And that treatment is repeated for five days. You can read more on culturing for contagious equine metritis at article 13422 on thehorse.com.